Welcome to this edition of Promocation where we speak to different people in our community. Today's episode is about young people. Those who y'all been to the last Prince and Princess pageant, you'll notice a slight difference between last year and this year. If you want to know what those differences are, keep watching. Welcome again to another show where we speak to people in the community. Today we're speaking to Janine Jean-Louis, chairperson of the Prince and Princess pageant. Welcome to the show, Miss Jean. Okay. Nice to meet you. Okay, so tell me about the Prince and Princess show. Well, we haven't really made any changes, but a few enhancements. This, um, Since I took over, we started with the ambassadorial speech and ambassadorial wear, and this is because um, my vision and the committee's vision was to send these children overseas to compete and see what it's like from a young age and also give them an opportunity to represent their country. So that's something we also have them carry the title of Junior Ambassador. So they're not just Prince and Princess of the British Virgin Islands, they're also the Junior Ambassadors of the British Virgin Islands. So they're going to be traveling and representing the BVI at all times. So I figured why not have them be prepared from the night of the show. So these are the two additions. And then our creative wear segment, every year that's going to change. Normally we stick within the range of cartoon wear or back in time or something fun and creative, but we decided to add more creativity to it. So last year we had the AB, um, ABC, which was anything but clothes. This year we had a triple S segment, which was um, rep representing sun, sand and sea for the triple S. In terms of the participation with the kids, how do you think the kids feel about being in front of the large audience? Well, regardless of how they feel, I think that the pageant actually helps them with the stage confidence and the overall confidence in general. Um, I, f I find, well, I find in pageantry, whenever you start off, it's, everyone is a, is a bit shaky, you're nervous. Even on the night of the show, you're going to be nervous. So I think what we do throughout the preparation, we have them do different events, they do etiquette training, they do all these different things and that will help boost their confidence so that they're prepared and ready to go on the night of the show. And that regardless, I always try to stress that everyone is a winner. So regardless, there's only one, there can only be one winner, but regardless, everyone is successful. Okay, in terms of participation, where, where did the, the students come from? All schools, any schools. Last year we had from CEDA, I have been Dawson, Alta Scottlift. This year we had a lot of applicants from Alta Scottlift. So we had all boys from Alta Scottlift, we had Ivan Dawson, and we had Brigado Flax this year. The kids used to be paired up. Uh, is it still that way or is that individual? No, we no longer do that because again, they go away to compete and we need everyone to be able to hold their own ground. So we do it separately. In terms of prizes? Prizes. Prizes are always awesome. Um, we do give cash prizes for each individual. The winners yes, this year got $650 cash prize along with um, a school donation for $500 to the representing school. They received a game console, a laptop tablet, and a bunch of other small gifts like backpacks, gift, gift certificates from JNC Trading Limited. You know, things like that. Crowd participation. The audience received some good stuff as well. We had a raffle and we did um, tickets for a dinner for two at HBM, two sets of tickets for Speedy to go to Virgin Gorda, and we also had some gift certificates from Yum Yum. So thank you, Yum Yum. Thank you, Speedy. And thank you, HBM. 2005. So what's what's next for you and other pageantry? So as as we speak, I'm having a meeting 
getting ready for next year, talking about what we felt, where we fell short, and how we can improve that. Every year, we try to, we aim to get better and better, and the committee is working around the clock. We have a lot in store for the winners this year, and we hope to bring another awesome show for you next year. In terms of information, how can people get in contact with you? So we do have a Facebook page, which is Virgin Islands Prince and Princess Pageant. And if you're trying to get in an email or try to get in contact with some of the committee members directly, we do have an email, which is princeandprincess.bvi at gmail.com. That's princeandprincess.bvi at gmail.com. All right, thank you for meeting me. And that's it for this edition of Promocation. I hope you liked this episode. I hope you found it was very informative to you. If it was, hit that like button. If you want to see another one, hit the subscribe button. As always, my name is Dorian Hodge, and until next time.